we're going to look at a couple of methods for equalizing the colors in stacked astrophotography images. This tutorial presumes you have already stacked your initial astrophotography data, so do take a look at the stacking workflow videos if you are unsure of how to do this. In this example, across on the layers panel, we've got luminance, red, green, and blue data, and there is a bit of a bias towards the red data. Now to help correct this, we are going to use samplers which we can access from the info panel. This panel is not active by default, so to enable it, we can go to View, Studio, and Info. Then the Info panel appears at the bottom right here. So by default, we have two samplers, and the left-hand one is using an RGB color model. That's the color model we want to be using. So what we can do now is just click-drag the sample from location icon, and just move over an area of the document until we find a neutral background tone. Then release the mouse button like so to add the sampler to that location. So now you can see that the RGB values are being measured from this sampler. Okay, so with the sampler in place, now what we want to do is add a channel mixer adjustment layer. In terms of where to position this in the layer stack, you generally want it above your color data. And if you have a data layer acting as a luminance layer, so this has a luminosity blend mode, you can drag the channel mixer adjustment above that. There is no harm in doing so, but because we're focusing primarily on correcting the balance between the color data, it just makes sense to have it sit here in the layer stack. So we can double click to bring the adjustment dialog back up. And now we want to alter the channel mixer red, green, and blue contributions until we start to equalize these values. For example, red is currently the highest value. So what we might do is take down the red slider on the red channel. Sometimes it helps to type precise values rather than click dragging on the slider. We can now see that both red and green have changed to 16. So now let's move across to blue and increase that until the blue value starts to increase to 15. And now it seems we just need to move back to the red channel and perhaps just bring this down ever so slightly, like so. So now that we've neutralized our background color, what we can do is move to the top of the layer stack, go to layer, merge visible. I'll just rename this to stay organized. Then we can use the remove background filter to very quickly remove the background tone entirely, raise the output black level, and we should find that the colors of our deep sky object are correct. I'll click apply, and you'll notice now that by using the remove background filter, we have a slight bias towards red. At this point, it would be up to you, the image editor, as to whether you want to try and neutralize this again, perhaps using another channel mixer adjustment. I think it is important to stress here that you must not rely on values alone. Use your eyes as well. Don't forget that there are plenty of deep sky images out there already that you can compare your result against to see if you are getting correct colors. Now you can also use this approach for false color images, such as this bicolor composition of the Orion Nebula. We can use these samplers as before, so I will click drag and sample an area of the background here. But also, to help give me a better average, I might employ the second sampler. So this currently is using the CMYK color model. I just need to click on the color model icon here and change that across to RGB. Then I'll drag and perhaps sample a background tone from down here. Now, as before, I can add my channel mixer adjustment. And I want to place this above the data layers, but beneath any layers that perform tone stretching. So once again, on the channel mixer adjustment, let's bring the red contribution down. And we need to move across to blue and bring that up like so, until we start to equalize these two values. 
then green. We just want to bring up slightly like so. Okay, and like we did with the previous example, we will just move to the top of the layer stack, merge our changes into a pixel layer, then run the remove background filter like so. And again, you can see here that after running the filter, the values are no longer equal. But again, I would advise not to become too obsessed over this process. You will notice that with our second sampler down here, the tones are still almost equal. The important goal is to try and remove any significant color cast, which we have managed to achieve. Now, occasionally, you will get a really extreme imbalance in colors, like with this LRGB composition. Now here, rather than altering the color balance of the composited result, we will want to go in and address the balance of each data layer separately. As before, I will add my samplers down here. So let's have a sampler in this region, then switch over to RGB and add a sampler down here. So what I want to do now is add a levels adjustment. That's Command L on Mac, Control L on Windows. And I want to clip this into one of my data layers. Since we have a heavy green bias, let's clip this into the green layer. So I just want to offer this to the right over the layer label or text here, and you'll see the blue horizontal bar changes width. Once that happens, you can release the mouse button and clip the levels adjustment into that layer. So now on the levels dialog, I want to start dragging the gamma slider to the right. And we will see that starts to effectively neutralize this already. My green and blue values are now exactly the same. So what I might want to do is add a second levels adjustment, clip it into the red pixel layer, and this time just bring the gamma slider slightly to the left until we start to equalize that red value like so. And gamma adjustments are very sensitive, especially in a linear color space. So you may find it's difficult to balance these values out entirely. We can fall back to our trusted channel mixer adjustment to finish this process if we need to. So let's select the blue pixel layer and above that, add a channel mixer adjustment. And we just need to bring the blue channel up slightly. So let's try incremental values. There we go. They're equal on this sampler up here. Not quite on the sampler down below. So let's just try increasing to 102%. And now both samplers have completely equalized RGB values. So as we did with the previous examples, we can move to the top of the layer stack, merge our changes so far, then run the remove background filter, just raise the output black level like so, and there we go. We have successfully balanced the colors, and we can go on to do further work on this image. For example, I might add, an HSL adjustment, that's Command U on Mac, Control U on Windows, and just bring the saturation up slightly to reveal a bit more color in this galaxy. So there we go. A couple of different techniques for equalizing color balance in astrophotography images. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.